Hey everybody, Dave Weiss here for The Glue Bomb Show. Well, as many of you probably know, I love art. I spent most of my life trying to be an artist and working in graphic design and all those different things. And some of my earliest influences were these guys who did these amazing car art, right? And I, you've heard me talk about Tom Daniel many times, and I love his work. And Ed Roth, I've also talked about a lot. And of course, Bill Campbell, I've talked about a lot. But then there's this other guy, Stanley Miller. Now, you might not recognize that name. That's because he went by a different name. See, one day Stanley Miller met a guy named Ed Roth and started airbrushing t-shirts and he created a couple characters and things like that. And one of those characters was a guy named Fred Flypogger. Now, you probably, again, don't know the name Stanley Miller. That's because at one point in his formative years, somebody gave him a nickname. They called him Mouse. Mouse, Stanley Mouse, whichever, <laughs> became a very legendary artist. He started off doing, besides the stuff with Ed Roth with the airbrushing of t-shirts, he used to do a lot of those concert poster designs back out of San Francisco back in the day. And uh, his home or his studio, I'm not sure which, but evidently it was right across the street from where the Grateful Dead lived. And the Grateful Dead ended up using him to do quite a few of his, his their albums, covers. Probably his best known album covers, though, are the album covers he did for the band Journey. You've seen those really cool airbrushed with the Beatle in all his various forms and everything. And they, he's just a phenomenal artist. But at one point, way back in the day, Monogram put out these kits of some of his Fred Flypogger designs. And our friends in Atlantis have now put them out. These, these kits were grail kits for me. These were kits I wanted to get my hands on. The prices on eBay were insane. I thought I'd probably never get them. And then along comes Atlantis to the rescue once again. I got to tell you, I love this company. They are putting out some of my all-time favorite kits uh, from childhood. And actually, they set me up with these uh, to, to review them. And so I wanted to share these with you today. This is the first one we'll look at. This is Flip Out. There's Fred Flypogger on the cover. He's kind of a kind of a monster surfer. This They say beachcomber here. But let's have a look at what's inside this kit. It's a kit, it's got, it's got 20 pieces, so it's not a very complex kit, but man, is it gonna be cool when it's done. As a matter of fact, they give you a picture of the finished art on the bottom of the box to give you some idea. It says in here that the eyes are posable. Now, I'm not exactly sure how that works. I'm gonna have a look at that in a little bit, but let's start off with the instruction sheet. Oh, I love when they do this with the instruction sheets. Uh, I'm thinking this is probably original Stanley Mouse art, but they've done everything as in comic style, so you can really see how it's all all goes together. Um, on the back, he has mice advice, where he tells you some of the colors to use on him, and uh, on the inside, it pretty much just has a, some step-by-step -step instructions and it shows you the finished piece in all its mousy glory. So anyway, that is the first set of instructions, uh, the set of instructions for flip out. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing what's inside the plastic. Let's have a look at that now. All right, it starts off with a pretty massive base the base has his feet already locked in it, and uh, there's a wave behind it, and so we'll give this a nice sand painting and painting colors and everything. That'll look good. We've got we've got a wave, surfboard, a small shark. There's that flypogger fly. Um, I believe this is part of his hair. And there's even a little clear sprue in here. It looks like it's got a little bit of drool and uh, some eyes. And I'm assuming this is, I'm not sure what this is exactly. Well, we'll, we'll check it out as we go along. All right, here's, here's the other part of the wave. And we've got his two, his two hands, one hand holding a, 
uh, beverage. On the other hand, for holding his surfboard. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, this is the back half of his hand. And then we've got a sprue that's got some additional decorative parts. Somehow I've got everything twisted here. Oh, I see why. Okay, so in the sprue we also have the uh, the mouse figure. You know, there's always a mouse with these. Uh, the back, rest of the hand, there's a footprint. Um, that looks like it's probably a, a uh, sandal, I would think. Uh, a starfish. Kind of a cool looking starfish. It looks like he's got a pair of eyes on the top. And then, of course, we have Fred's front. And Fred's back. So this is our, our Fred Flypogger kit. I'm looking forward to putting him together and seeing how he all how this all shakes out. You can see here, our friends in Atlantis did a really nice job on the molding. Uh, maybe a little bit of putty, but probably wouldn't even need it. But we will do it just because... This has been a grail kit for me. I've wanted this kit for a very long time, and so I'm going to be very careful and meticulous in putting this together. I can't wait to see what it looks like. But my friends in Atlantis didn't just send me one kit. They also sent me Super Fuzz. Again, another Fred Flypogger uh, character. Here he is. I love this one. This is really one that, that kind of excites me. And uh, let's have a look inside. Now, once again, they give you a, a piece that shows you the finished art on the bottom. I think that's really cool. It shows you how the finished kit is supposed to look. Again, just these... These wonderful comic book style instructions that show you how the pieces go together. And then we have, there's a little more involved in these instructions because uh, it's a little bit larger and uh, a little bit more detailed, I guess you would say. This one has 40, I think 42 pieces this one has. Um, but again, there's some nice advice on the back to show you how to glue the thing together. And let's look at what's inside. We'll start off with this sprue. This sprue holds the base. And as you can see, the rear wheels go on, on uh, these two spots here. You see they're pretty far apart, so this is going to be fairly large. Um, then he's holding a billy club in one hand. He's got the other hand just here as a one-piece part. Here are some, uh, these are the exhaust pipes for the engine. Headers, maybe, I guess you'd say. Um... And then we have the car. Oh, look at that. It's half a car. It's just two pieces in together. There's a gun off the back. There's that mouse character. Uh, some legs for, for Fred. Both parts of the, well, some of the legs. Uh, looks like we've got a, a teeth here. I'm guessing this is probably the grill for the car, but I'm not sure about that. There's also that fly, that famous fly that we're going to put on there. Um as he is Fred Flypogger, after all. Uh, here's the other, the other sprue with those gigantic gummy tires on the back. And uh, one of the front wheels here. There's what part of his arm. Of course, here's the other half of the car with all the details on it. And uh, looks like an in, uh, a, a fuel tank. And then here we have Fred himself, front and back, another big muscular arm. This is his, his uh, the person he's caught, all you see is the hand sticking out, so we'll probably have to put a little smoke back there to make that work, front axle. And then we have, um, it's another part of his leg, uh, it's probably your rear axle. Not sure what that part is. We'll see that in the instructions as we put it together. And then the other front wheel. 
And again, we have this little clear sprue with some, some drool, the eyeballs, and I'm not sure what that little dome is, but we'll figure that out and I'll let you know what it is when we get to our, our next uh, our review video. Guys, I am so looking forward to this. I have wanted these kits for a very long time, and I can't wait to start building them. I'm hoping that you guys will follow me on the journey. I'm liable to post a couple videos of these, but I, I just want to say it again. I want to thank the folks in Atlantis for sending me these kits, first of all. But what I really want to thank them for is making these kits. Man, these are kits I have wanted, like I say, for a long time. And I'm finally getting to put them together because of my friends in Atlantis. The, those folks are making some really nice kits. The fit on these things has always been, every Atlantis kit I've built, the fit has been impeccable. And uh, I've really had a good time with them. These are really fun. And of course, you know that's good because model building is supposed to be fun. I hope you guys pick these up. I hope you enjoy them. And uh, if you get a chance... Share a link to your build in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys are doing with them. Again, we'll see a, a review video as soon as I can get these done. But I am going to take my time a little bit because I want to make these look really cool. All right, that's all I have for you for today. Take care, God bless, and keep on building your models because it's supposed to be fun, and it is. These are going to be fun. Take care. <laughs>